How are we going? Doing some pruning today, warming up. Get those bones and the blood flow going through the bones, folks, because we are cold winter weather. You need to be active and moving around. Now, I'm pruning back this climbing fig. It's been growing here for a number of years, and like all climbers, they all start off as a carpet or a vine, single runner, trailing along some trellis or some wire or a post. In the case of this one, some vines actually sucker onto the, onto the structure, whereas others, need to wrap themselves around and cling on. This can do both, in fact. So we have the suckering effect here like that of a ivy plant, but it also can trail around, but it does get wood if you let it go for too long. And I'll show you what I mean. See, normally you use your head shears, but come in close, have a look at the stem here. See there, nice and thick. Now we haven't got any foliage there because we're not getting any sunlight. Ideally you want to keep this flat against the wall and pruned on a regular basis, unlike this one here, because I've enjoyed it bushing out. It looks fantastic along a brick wall, even a timber fence. I've got one at the garden centre in Coburg that I planted many, many years ago and I've actually got to cut it back. It's looking like this, but it's on a, a brick water feature wall that I built 20 years ago and it's superb. You can't see the brick, you can see the edge of the brick, but it looks fantastic when it's pruned back flush against the wall. So this is a great way to create a screen or hide an ugly wall that you don't like looking at, don't have to paint it, do anything, just got to prune it on a regular basis. Now this one here, because there was no sunlight in the middle, all the leaves have fallen off and it had to thicken up in the structure, structure itself like that, to be able to bush out and sustain a heavier plant on the outside. Now, if you prune it on a regular basis, and which is what we all got to do, unless you want it to be bushy, you won't have it thickening out so much, or so many of them. It'll be one main structure and you're constantly cutting all the small laterals off so it can constantly bring on new growth. If you don't do that, well, the old growth dies and the new growth grows out too far. Look at that on the ground there. There's gonna be nothing left of it. As long as I don't cut off the main feeder from the base, we'll be right. This is what I mean, see that? How nice and flat it's growing there along the stem, or well, in this case here, the timber frame. That there is what you want to have all the way around. Now it's all gone woody here. This will fill in. It won't, maybe not all of it cling onto the uh, post, but it'll be nice and tight, a lot better than what it's been. And we'll just keep this maintained like that. Regular pruning can be done a lot easier and a lot quicker than one big prune a year. But I'm going to take all this off here, I don't want it there. See, that's what you want to grow, and it all suckers on. It's got little feet on it but it doesn't really do any damage. It doesn't bury itself into the wood or the, the brick wall. It just, it suckers on and absorbs the moisture from the air. So it does feed off it with moisture, but it really doesn't do any structural uh, damage. Well, not that I've seen anyway. There you go, folks. Pretty much nice and clean. We can see the old birdhouse on top. We can put some seed in there for the birds to come along. And it looks a lot neater like that. It's a more, lot better presented and healthier for the plant as well. You can see all this area here, no seaside daisy. Grows like a weed, but this had taken over as a carpet. So get out there and prune your plants. Unless you're in a frost prone area, wait a little bit so the frost go away, so later in winter. But in this section here, because we've got all these uh, ornamental pear trees and things like that, Anyway, this plant here is tough as nails. You can't kill it with frost or anything. Literally, it's just plant and forget, but don't forget to prune it, otherwise it'll grow out of control. For great products like these secateurs and many more things and superfood, our Mark 1 batch has to be cleared. The warehouse has to clear out all that stock, so we've got it heavily discounted. Long weekend sale, everything discounted. VasilisGarden.com, click and collect Coburg and Lethbridge and walk in as well if you like. From Evasili, Maresi. Nice.